new subscribers. Thank you all for subscribing. What's going on again, everybody? I hope everybody is doing good. Uh, this is just a quick little update video um, on stuff that's going on. I'm going to be introducing kind of like a new segment to the channel. Uh, it's going to be automotive related. Uh, I'm going, going to put all the videos down in a playlist. I've already got some playlists, but that's where they're going to be. And that's where you'll be able to find them. Uh, basically, as you don't know, I love anything automotive. So I thought I would start doing more automotive related videos. And instead of having another channel, this one is already up and going. So I think it would be easier to just go ahead and do this and easier to maintain. I've already got several other channels, so I don't want to create another one. But, uh, yeah, so that's, like I said, that's going to be automotive-related stuff. Uh, events that I go to, car shows. Uh, I'm going to start doing little videos on cars that I've owned in the past. Uh, maybe cars that I would like to have in the future. And uh, stuff like that, so that should be interesting. Um, I went to a, an event over the weekend, so once I get a video edited for that, that will be posted in there as well. Um, and that, and it'll fill in in between doing projects on the RVs, so it'll give me something to uh, post up. Uh, so yeah. I've also been working on an online shop, so basically you can get merchandise uh, if you like the channel or anything, want to support the channel, you know, that's a way you could, could help, uh, is buy a piece of merchandise. Uh, hopefully I will be able to get it up on the end screen of this video where it links to your, you know, the other videos that I, I put on there. There should be, if I can figure out how to get it to work, there'll be a little link, probably in the top right-hand corner, uh, with a link to my shop. And the shop is going to be through Cafe Press, so I don't take any of the you know, I don't do any of the orders or anything. Basically, I come up with the designs, post them up on there, and they take care of everything. So if something comes out bad, you can contact them and they'll do, they'll handle the issue. So I don't have to deal with any of that. Um, so yeah, I don't have to deal with shipping or anything. Um, so yeah, that's going on. Uh, as far as the fifth wheel goes, I got the windows. I sealed around those. Uh, haven't been able to do the roof coat yet. Every single day it seems to rain. So I want a couple of good days where it's not going to rain before I can do that. And uh, this RV, my uh, uh, the chalkboard Class C, has started leaking in that same spot up in the front. I'll show you that real quick. Now, I have no idea where it's coming in. But as you can see, it's leaking. And uh, yeah, so that kind of sucks. I don't know where it's coming in at. I've, when I first got it, I sealed around everything up there and I have also once I saw it was leaking I sealed around it everything that I could find again and it still leaks so I have no idea where the water is coming in at my first thought was the originally was those marker lights well I've sealed all the marker light holes and everything so I don't know where it is now 
I think I'm gonna go get some of that uh, the roof tape uh, to seal it up go around maybe all the edges and uh, see if that stops it if it stops it then I know I've got an issue somewhere around one of the edges but uh, so yeah that's just a quick little update can't think of anything else going on but uh, yeah I'm looking forward to getting some automotive uh, stuff on here and uh, that should be fun and like I said I'm not gonna stop doing the RV videos I'm not changing the channel into an RV, uh, automotive channel I'm just adding kind of like a segment to it and uh, should be fun but yeah if you guys like this video please feel free to hit that like feel free to leave a comment Feel free to subscribe, and yeah, thanks for watching everybody. I did have a one question. Uh, is there anybody mechanic-wise around Central Florida that may be interested in looking at this RV, maybe test driving it, and seeing if they could figure out what my transmission issue is, or is it even the transmission? I have a feeling if I take it into a mechanic shop or a transmission shop, they're immediately going to say, needs a new transmission. And I really don't think it's the whole transmission. I think it's something along the lines of the clutch, you know, a clutch plate, uh, maybe a sensor or a torque converter or something. So I would rather have somebody look at it than that's not trying to sell me a transmission. So if anyone's in the Central Florida area and would like to help, you know, just kind of see what you think, please leave me a comment or a message and uh, I will certainly get back to you. Uh, I greatly appreciate that.